and welcome to the Rugged Rock Hound. Today, I'm out close to the Little Sahara. Right behind me over here, that is the, kind of the Little Sahara Recreation Area. Behind those hills, anyway. So you got some hills out here. Behind those, Little Sahara. Most of you who live in Utah are familiar with that. And then right behind me, we've got a little place called Jericho. So in the washes around Jericho, apparently you can find plume agate. At least that's what I heard from an old time rock hound a while back. And so I'm gonna explore first this main wash down here below me, and then some of the smaller washes up there to see if we can find any trace of this plume agate. So today we might find something amazing or we might not find very much. Let's get at it. Okay, I'm down in a wash. Here's the road we just drove over. And this is the first interesting thing I've seen. Hmm. Looks like it might be something. Hard to tell, let's spray it off. So I sprayed it off and it looks like kind of a brecciated flint or jasper. So, eh, interesting. Not what we're really looking for. So I just found this nice little piece of jasper, which has a little bit of agate in it too. That is a promising first find. Yeah, nice red, a little bit of tan, a little bit of agate. Good find. That's a pretty looking rook. Spray it off. Yeah. I would say that's a vein of calcite going through some dark limestone. That's what it looks like. It's pretty. Unfortunately, it's that time of year where there's just tumbleweeds everywhere. So we've got sections where the tumbleweeds are filling it up the bottom of the wash, making it hard to find things. Due to the high amount of <laughs> tumbleweeds in the main wash, it might be uh, something I'll have to explore at another time. Let's maybe try one of the side washes. Well, this wash is pretty overgrown. Makes it very difficult for any to see anything on the ground. So I think I'm going to head back to the car. There was a, over there, there was a, a wash that I saw coming in that's much drier than this. So it might be a much better place to search. Okay, I've driven back up the road a bit to uh, here where we have the railroad tracks right here behind me. And that's the old Jericho area where we've still got ranchers out here. And here's a better wash to try here that goes under the tracks. So I'm gonna try the wash here, maybe on that side. And then I wanna maybe go over the hill and just check some of the washes right around here. Yeah, that looks like I can see the ground a heck of a lot better. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the hunt. So after not really finding much in the wash, Decided to come up on the hillside here across from where we parked. And you can see the rock is mostly volcanic. So we've got a lot of volcanic rock here. But one thing I did see over here, looks like we maybe have some more jasper. Just found this. It's a piece of jasper, but look at the edge of it. It's been worked. See the little chips through the edge of it? Uh, Native American worked on this piece and uh, either turned it into an arrowhead that then got broken in use or didn't make it to an arrowhead and just simply got worked on. Pretty cool. So you can see the tops of the roofs of where we parked over there. So I've hiked over that hill, checked this wash out pretty good, and now I'm up on this hill. So what we are really seeing is mostly volcanic rock, but the volcanic rock has been moved from elsewhere. This is what we call in geology alluvium. So this has been moved from where it originally formed. And it looks like most of this is all gonna be what we call valley fill. So even if I find plume agate here, it came from somewhere else. So what I'm thinking, since I'm not really finding much here, and you can tell that this is all just alluvium valley fill we're gonna maybe head up in the hills we're gonna head back to the main road which is right over there and i think we'll go off over there somewhere i'm gonna kind of check into those hills over there 
maybe over here, maybe over here. I don't know. We'll just go up there and check it out and see what we find. Okay, now I'm up in the hills. So the old Jericho area is down there. We drove all the way up into the hills here. And once again, I'm seeing volcanic rock everywhere. Volcanic rock all over the place. So I'm gonna head down into the gully here and just see if there's anything down there. This is not, oh, oh. Now that looks like some dark agate. Let me spray that off. Look at that. It's a nice dark agate. If the sun was out, you might be able to see some light coming through it. You might still see leave it. Might be able to still see some light coming through it. That, now that is interesting. Here's that little piece of black agate I found out there. Let's take a look. Oh, that's pretty nice. Yeah, it actually kind of like the black agate from the van a little bit. It's a tiny little piece of agate. Very tiny though. I would like something bigger. Oh, there's another little tiny piece. Okay, I'm seeing little tiny agates all over. Probably formed in the tiny air bubbles in this volcanic. Now, if we can find bigger ones that maybe had bigger air bubbles rather than these tiny things. The pieces of agate are getting a little bigger. This one's nice. Looks like it even has some quartz crystals on it. And over here, found another one. They're getting bigger. Found another one even bigger. They're growing in size. This is getting exciting. So I'm just panning back and forth. And I look over here and about lost my mind. Look at the size of that one. Wow. That is amazing. Wow. And this was just a random, just, I'm gonna just try here for something. This is not a known location for anything. Look at the size of that agate, although can't see hardly any banding in it, but there is a little bit. Not a lot of color, but wow, right? <laughs> wow. Oh, I'm excited now. What else is around here? Look at that. Can you imagine getting something bigger? And we saw that black one up there, so we might be able to find color somewhere. Wow, okay. We are on the hunt now. I've come up the wash just a little further and I asked for color and I'm getting color. <laughs> oh, that's bigger than I thought it was. That's why we have a hand pick. There we go. Spray that thing off. Oh, look at that. Okay, this is not like the other agate. Oh, there's a piece of it right there. So you got this that probably formed in the voids in the volcanic rock, and that's probably formed elsewhere. This is more solid, almost like a jasper, while this is much more transparent. So we got kind of two different formations going on here, it looks like. Oh, wait a second. What do I see here? Oh, it looks like some agate in here. Okay, we're going to have to cut that. Oh, yeah. Okay, spraying this off. Oh my gosh, this could be plume agate right here. Oh my gosh, I may have found it. <laughs> wow, and I'm just sitting in a wash down here in the middle of nowhere, place nobody knows about. Oh, this is exciting. Look at that. Oh, I can't get enough of that right there. Okay, we're gonna, yeah, I gotta cut into this and see what this looks like. Okay, here's the piece. Based on the outside, it looks like it's a plume agate. And because there was a little bit there, I figured it went all the way through. Oh, let's see. Oh, that is... Okay, wow. That is stunning. Oh, that's beautiful. Hey, I found a rock with some copper ores on it. Oh, and next to it, another little piece. Not bad. I've got better though, I don't think I'll keep that one. 
Just found some nice jasper. Not bad. I do have better jasper, but not bad. This is just a new area. All kinds of stuff here. As I get up further, I'm finding more and more of these clear ones. A little one there. Ooh. Ooh, that one's got some good banding in it. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, little bits of it everywhere now. So, we might be getting closer to the source. I see something sticking out of the side here. It has what looks like a little bit of a blue color. It might not be, but it might be. Let's spray that off. Okay, it's just how it was in the dirt. But yeah, maybe there is a hint of blue. Cut this piece open. Let's take a look. Oh, that's nice. Hey, look, you do have some nice banding in there. And I just like how clear it is, how it lets the light through. That's very nice. I like it. Oh, look at that piece. Oh boy. Nice. Oh, look at the banding in that one. Very nice. I think I found something good right on the edge of the wash here. Oh yeah. Let's spray that off. Pretty cool. So you got agate surrounding what looks like calcite in the middle. Oh, nice. So here's an agate piece I found with calcite in it. Cut it open and, oh, that's pretty nice. I like this dark area. Oh yes, I like that dark area a lot. That is cool. So here I found a little piece of jasper. Nice. And let me just kind of go up the hill for you. Little piece of agate there. Let's work our way up the hill some more. Oh, there's a piece of agate right there. Working my way up. And got a piece there. And <laughs> a big one right there. Oh my goodness. How big is that actually? Oh, 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 oh. Wow. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm coming back out here with Tim this week. No question about it. Oh. Oh, look at that. <laughs> yeah, let me spray it off for you. Here we go. Man, can you, can you imagine if this had color in it? But even without color, look at that. That is beautiful. Oh, it's a good day. This is a little big to cut right now, so I just kind of washed it off really quickly. As you can see, there's still a bit of washing to do on this thing. <laughs> but just based on what you can see already, look at that. Crystal pocket of quartz. Beautiful, big, thick agate. I just wish it had color in it. Okay, I hadn't seen anything for a little while, but I did just come across this. Oh, yes. Okay, I've got to head back, though. i got to get back for the interview. So this is where we're going to have to end it today. Well, I'll get back and shoot at the car. <laughs> I'm going to get back and film at the car, but yeah, I am coming back out here. Heading up the hill on my way back, and look at that. That's just sitting on the side of the hill. The source is probably here. So this nice one I found on the hillside. So here's this nice one cut open, and okay, yep, that's good to know. So I can see the banding going this way, and when I cut it this way, we kind of lose it. So when you're out there, the direction you really see the banding from the outside is the direction you want to have it cut. Good to know, good to know. Okay, still pretty, but good to know. And another one on the way back. Okay, it, it's definitely coming out of these hills. Probably all over these hills. Okay, I'm going out probably tomorrow. <laughs> okay, I'm going out tomorrow. Wow. Wow, okay. Plume maggot confirmed. And I found where it's actually coming out, or close to. That's why I'm going out tomorrow. I gotta find out exactly where this is coming from. Well, I made it back to the vehicle. I'm gonna head out. 
I was even picking up clear pieces just walking back down this road. And I realized I forgot to give you guys GPS coordinates. There you go. That's the GPS of where we're parked. This is an amazing location. The, the clear agate is great. I think you guys will love it. But the thing I'm really excited about is that one piece. And you have already seen it cut open. And if it looks anything like I think it looks, it's going to be spectacular. And that is worth coming back out here for. I need to find where those are coming out. And that's why I want to get back out here this week again. So look forward to the next video when hopefully we'll find more of those and even better stuff. Until next time, there's treasure everywhere.